Hallelujah. Bless be the name of the Lord. A little bit about the blue sky so you can see the um, azure. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the skies are blue. There's some clouds. We love a little bit the clouds because it keeps it uh, a little bit cooler here. How how is everything? How are you guys doing? Um, yeah, some of you are still um, um, kind of a far in uh, in the physical distance, but very close, very close in the heart. Absolutely, uh, it's like we we never left. And this idea that um, uh, he gave me about the trip. A, a trip updates <laughs> it's uh, it, I think it's very fruitful and uh, I want to want to know lots of you are praying for for this trip and I, I want you to know that I'm taking you with me so uh, as uh, I said before if you watch this um, we are preparing for a wedding it's uh, yes somebody that we we really love and uh, we um, we want to bless but the preparation for the wedding it's in in a way that never uh, never experienced before I usually kind of show up at the weddings um, the weddings are <clears throat> somehow prepared you know months in advance or but this time um, I'm here for this week before the wedding and the Lord showed us um, uh, um, how to do this preparation, which is worshiping, um, coming to his house, building his house of worship. Um, and as we build his house, then he's building the house of the newly married. And this is um, um, it's such a it's such a blessing. It's a very intense spiritual time. Um, we love it. So um, I started to talk about the preparation, and I mentioned again that um, there is something that Christ, the husband of the church of. His body, the husband of the bride, which is us. Our husband already did for us. And that's a finished work. He did it. That's in the past. And now he's washing us with this word. And um, by the gospel, we hear about him and we fall in love with him. And as he says in 2 Corinthians 11, that I read last time, we are betrothed with him. So our souls are um, in a covenant with the Spirit, with Christ. We, we are in a definite covenant with him. And the process here on earth, while we are preparing for the wedding, and this is what we're talking about, preparing for the wedding, the process here is so we can be um, in the single-minded, in the simplicity, as the apostle puts it in Second Corinthians, the simplicity. The single mindedness, Christ is it. We are absolutely in love with Him. And the purity, which is no mixture, not allowing the things of the world, of the flesh, of religion even, to mix in with our love for Jesus, our love for Christ. He is our husband. And we are engaged 
and that is uh, because there is another part that will come right so it was the perfect work the finished work of christ it is is the engagement is the connection with him and it will come which is the consummation of the marriage the oneness between the spirit and the soul this is this is what's what's coming and um in order for us now to understand this preparation for the wedding we have to see what he already did and i i brought it up because it says that uh, our earthly marriage right the husband and the wife it's a shadow of how christ and the church are that there is this this part that the husband christ brings into the husband's man soul for their wives which is the savior of the wife okay and this is the love that no wife can resist to see we we hear too much about the obedience of the wives and it's it's very important our obedience to christ it's it's essential because otherwise everything that he has for us that he already did for us cannot flow into our souls cannot flow into our bodies cannot flow into our relationships okay obedience it's the alignment, it's the connection between the soul and the spirit. That's why it's so important. And the relationship on earth between husband and wife brings this obedience. But it's not just from the wife to the husband. Because he says, even here in... Um, in Ephesians 5, before he describes that, verse 21, putting yourselves in subjection to one another in the fear of Christ. <laughs> See, if you know that your wife is not just the soul, is not just the body, the physical body, but is part of Christ, she is part of Christ. She is born again in Christ. Then this, when you in your soul are understanding that you submit to Christ in her. <laughs> yeah, so you see this subjection is not just... You know the Christ that's it at the right hand of the Father, but it's Christ in each of us. I know when the Lord speaks through my wife's mouth, and I'm submitting to that. And I know she knows when it's Christ in me coming towards her. But this place of salvation is not given to the wife's soul it's given to the man's the husband's soul the savior of the body it's the savior of the wife you know that's why it's so hard when the wives have to stand for their marriage and they really need this special word and help from the lord um, to redeem somehow to bring the husband it's difficult but the husband was given this power of salvation and i told you about this brother that experienced that and it going and looking through the soul i saw the fruit the fruit of christ the savior in his soul as a husband for his wife it's so powerful this love it's irresistible i do believe that 
lots of the people in the body of Christ, they do not experience the love, the love of Christ. They don't understand what he did really for them to save them, to bring them to them, to himself. For the joy set ahead of him, he suffered the cross and despised the shame. The joy were you. We were his joy set ahead of him. He was looking at you and despised the shame. So in um, Ephesians 5, in, uh, it says there, um, the husbands, verse 25, be loving your wives with a love, self-sacrificial in its nature, in the manner in which Christ also loved the church and gave himself on behalf of it, gave himself in order that he might sanctify it. Isn't this powerful? <laughs> you know, sometimes we are looking how to fix and change our wives. And it doesn't say here that Christ gave himself to fix us and change us. Even there is a changing absolutely happening. But he gave himself in order to sanctify us. Okay. Having cleansed it by the bath of water in the sphere of the word. The bath of water in the sphere of after word that's how you sanctify your wife you speak over her the words of truth how christ sees her how christ sees her oh this is so beautiful this is so perfect there is no spot or wrinkle. There is nothing missing, beloved. <laughs> oh, this is so perfect. And speaking and bringing your wife in the sphere of the word, she is sanctified. How beautiful is that? I encourage every husband that's listening to me right now to start speaking, bathing your wife in the sphere of the Word of God. Blessing, blessing her. Oh, yes, nothing, no spot, no uh, separation. Nothing that can separate her from you. Nothing. You are the beloved. This is so beautiful, so perfect. Preparation, in preparation from the wedding, the Lord Jesus Christ is bathing us in the Word of God. And so do we. Hallelujah.